Hey guys, first off, just want to say I promise I'm not naked. I'm just wearing a off the shoulder top. Second of all, this makeup is from my Valentine's Day tutorial that I did. The only thing different is I swapped out the lip color, so I will have those listed down below. Also, I will have my social media accounts in the down bar as well as my Instagram name across the screen so you can follow me on there as well. If you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and the little bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. That aside, today we're going to be talking about my all natural skincare routine. I don't use a whole bunch of products. They're effective, they're inexpensive, and it's been working really well for me so far. Before I get started, I feel like I should mention my skin type. If you guys are a longtime subscriber, you probably know, but I have oily combination skin. I'm very sensitive. My skin tends to get irritated quite easily. I suffer from breakouts mostly in my cheekbone area, and I get the occasional hormonal breakout on my chin. I tend to be oily in my T-zone, so it's definitely been a struggle finding products that work for me. So I'm gonna start you off with my nighttime routine and then we'll go into the morning. The first thing I do is wash my face with sweet almond oil. This is one of the few oils that I found that is really effective at removing my makeup without causing any breakouts. I actually also use this as a um, spot treatment for pimples. I find that pretty much overnight it reduces the size of them like very noticeably. I use two pumps of this to remove my makeup. It does a great job at breaking up foundation, mascara, eyeliner, pretty much anything that you would possibly wear on your face. So once I have rubbed in the almond oil and feel that all my makeup is broken up, I will run a towel under some warm to hot water. You don't wanna use anything too hot that could hurt your skin. And then I just kind of lay it over my face, let that break up and then gently wipe everything away. My skin feels really clean. It feels moisturized. Obviously, I hate when cleansers really strip your skin of any moisture um, and just cause it to look dehydrated. Then the next product I go in with is this Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This was also purchased from Amazon. It is a cruelty-free product. This is by Cosmetica Skincare. This is really good for retaining moisture in your skin. This is unscented and it sinks in almost immediately. I use two drops of this and kind of like tap it into my face. I feel like my skin retains a lot more moisture. It looks more plump, more hydrated, and it does not irritate my skin at all. Then I go in with another oil. This is the Radha Rosehip Oil. Um, it's 100% pure and natural, certified organic, also a cruelty-free product. I started using this because I heard it was very effective at reducing acne scars. Uh, it's also a great anti-aging product. So I take a couple drops of this, rub it all over my entire face, even at the under eye area. I don't have a specific eye cream that I use or love, so if you have any recommendations, you can go ahead and leave those down below for me, but I find um, that this alone offers enough moisture for my under eye area, so I really don't need anything separate, but I'm not opposed to uh, using a separate eye cream. I just haven't found one that I love yet. This has made a huge difference in my skin. I feel like the scars are really diminishing, and I think that's also due to something else that I'm using, but this has definitely played a huge role in that. So I know I said that was my last night step, but I do have one more thing that I use. Um, it's not really a skincare item, but it is my homemade uh, DIY eyelash and eyebrow serum. This contains equal parts of castor and coconut oil, as well as uh, rosemary oil and vitamin E oil. I think that's everything in here. So I just dip a Q-tip in here, put it on my lashes and eyebrows, and I really feel like it nourishes the hair and promotes growth. Okay, so that is my whole nighttime routine. It's pretty easy, it does not take me a long time. I'm not using a million different products. I find that for me, when I use less products, my skin reacts better. Now let's fast forward to my morning routine. So in the morning, I don't actually wash my face. Well. Okay, let me rephrase that. In the morning, I don't use a cleanser on my face, so I don't use the almond oil, I don't use any other cleanser. I just use cold water, splash that on my skin, and then um, gently pat that dry. Then I go in with my um, Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum again. This is safe to use during the day. I did check because I wasn't sure how this would react um, if you were out in the sun. Then I go in with a facial sunscreen, and this is something that's new for me. For so long, I struggled with finding a sunscreen that I could use on my face that did not break me out, and this is the first one that I've tried that 
does not irritate my skin at all. So I absolutely love this. This is the Beauty by Earth Facial Sunscreen. It's an SPF 20, and this is a mineral sunscreen for daily use. It is a cruelty-free organic product made in the US. So I'll take one pump of this, put it all over my face. It does leave a little bit of a white cast, but as it sinks in, it definitely diminishes. Another thing I love about this is that it does not leave my skin really greasy. That was another reason that I found it really difficult to use sunscreen under my makeup. So this has probably been my most exciting discovery of skincare lately because I knew for so long that using a sunscreen was super important. It's like the number one anti-aging product but I could never find anything that worked for me. So if you have similar issues with sunscreens, definitely check this one out. I highly recommend it. One more thing I want to mention about the sunscreen. I feel like this in conjunction with the rosehip oil has really helped my acne scarring because it's not being constantly exposed to the sun and it does have sun protection. I feel like that does make a big difference too. That's just something to keep in mind if you are struggling with that as well and you're not using the sunscreen during the day. Definitely try to implement that into your routine and I think you will start to notice more of a difference. So then the last thing that I use in the morning is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Moisturizer. This is um, with tamarind extract and tea tree oil. It's supposed to clear and balance blemished oily skin. This is a really great moisturizer. It leaves your skin with like a semi-matte finish. So it really lends nicely to makeup application or also if you're not wearing any makeup during the day I feel like my skin looks really good when I apply this. I also think this has helped with breakouts um, healing breakouts that I have on my skin or preventing new ones because of the tea tree oil. The only thing about this that people may not like is the scent. It's kind of very earthy. I like it. It's a quite thick moisturizer which I didn't think that I would like because if you have oily skin usually the lighter the moisturizer the better. Alright guys so that is my very minimal in my opinion skincare routine so hopefully I have introduced you guys to some new all-natural products that you've never heard about before and maybe you will give some of these a try. Let me know of your favorite all-natural skincare products down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!